Hey guys, just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you guys how I uh, pack up uh, some of the lizards that I sell. Um, uh, I use reptilesexpress.com. I have used Ship Your Reptiles before, and I've bought the packing material from both of those companies as well as reptilesupply.com. Uh, what I'm boxing up right now here is a 12 inch long, 9 inch wide, uh, 6 inch high uh, box. Um, I typically use that uh, during the winter uh, or the cooler months when I need to have a uh, heat pad in it. Um, during the uh, warmer parts of the year where the shipping temperatures are fine and I don't need a heat pad um, and I'm only selling one or two small lizards like a baby anole or just one baby uh, iguana, I'll use the uh, seven inch square boxes which I put together uh, the same way that I put these guys together. A uh, bit anal about these boxes. I want to make sure they're secure, so I use uh, quite a bit of tape, probably more tape than uh, what is recommended, but uh, that's okay. Um, what I like about these boxes, and I just recently found out that that might not, it might not be a good idea, it might be a con to use in these boxes, is that they come pre-printed with, you know, harmless reptile stamped on the sides, and um, I just watched uh, Jason Ramadi's uh, video on how he ships his snakes and he says he's heard from people that uh, there might be some uh, FedEx drivers that uh, are afraid of animals, reptiles, and so they maybe don't take the care they should with the box if it's plastered on the side. So I didn't, I never thought of that. So you'll see in here, I, I, I went the opposite of what he recommended. I put labels everywhere so people know this is harmless critters in here. But anyways, styrofoam on the bottom. I bought that from the company pre-cut sides, all four sides, and then a piece of styrofoam goes on top. Um, so you want to make sure your temperature stay good. Um, I'm using deli cups and the bags for six baby iguanas that I'm sending out. And the, 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 the buyer recommended I try to give them genders, two males and four females. So I did the best I could. Uh, this is how I prepare my deli cups. I just use paper towel and I cut uh, four little squares, or excuse me, I cut them into little squares. It's gonna end up being four, but however many squares I need. And then I just line the bottom of the deli cup with that. Um, my thought with that is it gives them purchase. It gives them some place where they can, you know, sink their claws in. And, um, you know, if the box is tussled, it gives them something they can grab onto and hopefully prevent them from being, uh, you know, tussled around too much within the deli cup, within the box. So you see, I just, just tuck it down in there the best I can, pop the lid on top. So I did that for all four of those. Uh, these deli cups, I also bought them from Reptiles Express. They have the holes pre-punched in the, in the side of them. So, uh, and then I, I tried to mark possible female, the female symbol on each of the four deli cups. And as you saw, possible male on the uh, two bags, because the, uh, the iguanas are only about four and a half, five months old. I am not comfortable enough to probe them, so I haven't probed them. I'm just using uh, external physical characteristics to try to guesstimate to the best of my ability. I did try to, uh, if you check my Instagram, uh, which is Night and All, my username is Night and All, I did try to uh, use a flashlight like I've seen done with some, uh, some bearded dragons to illuminate the hemipenes. But there's, so that, that this is how I planned it, the four deli cups uh, on one side, and then I, I always tuck some paper towel inside the, the bag to also to give the animals some purchase and some cushion in there so they don't get squashed. Uh, I've never had a problem with that. Um, just gives them something to, to, to grab onto, to hide under, so it makes them feel a little more comfortable. But so this, what I'm doing right now is just packing it up as sort of a dry run, how it's going to look once I actually get the animals into the deli cups and into the bags. This is a 48-hour heat pack. Also bought that from reptilesexpress.com and uh they're air activated so uh you got to get them out so see i get it out now and i haven't even caught the animals yet and i've either wrapped it in newspaper or here i'm wrapped in it wrapping it in paper towel and um just to to help secure it a little better and this goes on the lid on the inside of the lid so that when you tape it the red stripe is always facing facing down facing away in my case it'll be facing down if you taped it to a side wall I guess it would be facing out, not into the wall, but out into the package. So uh, uh, I have had them where I just put a piece of tape, um, like I'm about to do right now, um, 
and it didn't stick to the styrofoam very well so it fell into the package so I actually will do it this way and then I'll flip this bad boy over and I, I will go ahead and, and tape on the other side onto the tape itself and that way it holds better uh, I just want to make sure it stays where I put it um, I don't think the way I've, I have this particular box pack anything would happen but say I just had a seven inch box and for whatever reason I had to use the the, the heat pack and it fell on a bag so now you got this bag uh, with a heat pad on it and the animal can't get away from it. So that that's the fear That's why I make sure I secure it real well. So here. We're just doing a dry fit. No animals are in the box yet um, Just to show you guys that's that's how it gets packed up uh, once I get the critters and this is what I'm doing now uh, Had to fast forward to some things here. So I'm looking for males. That's this guy. I think might be a, a young male So go ahead and got him snagged up and here I am just following up with the flashlight thing, just checking again. Um, I, I did not have any luck with all any 24 of the animals that I initially flashlighted uh, to see any hemipenes. And there's no way in the world they're all females. Um, I, so, so some of them just are not behaving like females. They're getting bigger heads. They're being very aggressive. Not that the females can't be aggressive, as you guys have seen in some of my previous videos. And I think I might actually have my, my wife in there uh, helping me with that a little bit. That's why it took a second. But get them going in the bag right there. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't tie any sort of uh, knots. I just make sure um, I go ahead and, and, and loop it around and uh, once under. Um, and then I'm going to put some tape on it. And that way, you know, just, just secure it with some tape to tighten the, the top of the bag. And that way I know that the... Uh, uh, the little guy's not going to come out while he's in the package. That would uh, that would be a nightmare scenario. You send you send your reptile to somebody, and uh, as soon as they cut it open to do their unboxing video, they got the fastest lizard in the world running around and wherever they are. Hopefully, it's not on a back porch or anything like that. So, anyways, that's the one bag. I, I did the other one the exact same way, and. There, uh, the, the next animal we caught we thought was a female, so we went and put her inside the deli cup. And the, the thing about the deli cups is, and I did not get a good shot of this on video, you got to be careful you don't get that tail pinched as you're trying to shut the lid down. So you just got to gently tuck, 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 tuck. You know, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. Tuck, tuck, tuck that tail in there and then shut that lid on there. And uh, so I got everybody boxed up. There's four babies. And again, for security purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of tape on each of these deli cup lids to make sure they don't pop open in transit. Uh, there's plenty of holes popped all around the deli cup, so it's not there's no issue with um, with with uh, them suffocating in, inside a deli cup. As if I'm taping over the holes or anything like that, that's not going to happen. So get all four of them uh, taped up. My bags, the, the males, the potential males in the bags are all taped up. And as a hobbyist, uh, you know, I want to make sure I treat this the way I, when I order something from somebody, I want it to come well packed, well packaged. Um, so that's, I guess that's my philosophy. I'm going to do it the way I want it, you know, when I, when I order animals. So... I just try to be very conscientious of the security of the animal uh, to make sure they get they arrive where they're going to be you know safe and sound so got the four cups and so we did a dry run earlier now we're going to go ahead and do a wet run with live animals inside the package and I'll move it here closer to the camera so you guys will see um, this is how I packed up six baby iguanas yeah, go closer to the camera, Chuck. There you go. All right, so there you go. Six baby iguanas. And I go ahead and put some popcorn in there. Um, Want to make sure the deli cups don't shift uh, too much. Again, that's why I, I pack the bags with a, a fill of material, paper towel, act as some cushioning. The deli cups are not heavy. The popcorn's not heavy. Um, it's n not like they're going to press up against the, the iguanas in the bags and it's going to harm them in any way. That's not going to happen. Um, Get it all nice and packed up. 
The one thing that when you when you ship reptiles, my understanding is you have to go through one of the companies like Reptiles Express or ShipYourReptiles.com because a private citizen you, you need to be uh, I don't I don't want to say licensed but registered to ship reptiles I guess is the proper term and those companies are already registered to do it so they're acting as an intermediary for you uh, not to mention if you've ever played around and went to their website to get a quote they do give you a discount because uh, you know they're acting as the customer on your behalf and they do a large volume of business so you're getting a discount on the shipping um, and sometimes it can be quite substantial if if what they're telling you in the calculator is is accurate so uh, this is this is this is game time the animals are in there they're all packed up you just saw me put the lid on there uh, with the, the heat pad uh, red stripe down I did wrap it in paper towel though and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tape it up these boxes are not airtight in the past I used to use a real thin um, a tee a golf tee uh, one of the real long ones, I would poke that in the side because I was—I just got to make sure there's air. These, the, the styrofoam, the cardboard boxes, they are not airtight, um, so I haven't done that in a while. Haven't had any problems with uh, not poking a hole in the in one of the sides. You know, before you put your animals in there, you don't want to stick your animals. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is I told you I was a little overkill with putting live harmless reptile. So I cut out my live harmless reptiles and I put that on both sides, even though it's already pre-pinned um, on the box itself. And, and again, I just recently saw where that might not be a good idea to do that. Um, I, I hope no drivers or warehouse people mistreated any of my boxes because I clearly had them marked as having live harmless reptiles in them. So now all four sides of this box are marked live harmless reptile. U.S. Fish and Wildlife requires that any any reptile ship clearly says what's in the box, and so that's that's what this form is, and it says six Honduran spiny tail iguanas, and it has their scientific name, Tenosaura melanosterna. Uh, so I cut that out. When you when you order when you use Reptiles Express or ShipYourReptiles.com, and you print the shipping label, uh, this form is included because you got to fill you know fill out this information when you do your when you make place your order for the shipping label, um, as well as those uh, additional uh, live harmless reptile uh, little printouts, um, and that's the shipping label. I did it real quick, you know, protect the privacy of my customer. Um, get that all uh, cut out and then copious amounts of tape on that uh, to help secure the top a little bit better so it's going to be quick right here I'm just going to set that down and here I am wondering if I'm recording or not I don't I couldn't remember which button I pushed my wife had to set me straight nice morning she's eating her bowl of oatmeal but that's how I do it if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for watching.